Oh, what's happening? We're back at my house. Kind of a mess. We got back from California and I was supposed to film a trainer edition workout for you guys tonight, but guess what? I didn't work out today. And no, I'm not that mad about it, to be honest. I didn't work out yesterday either. Sometimes you go through funks and this whole weekend we were shooting and I worked out like twice a day and I'm just burnt out. So instead of forcing myself, I just took today and yesterday off. But on a positive note, I'm wearing as much denim as I could find because I just wanted to see how much denim is too much denim. This is borderline Justin Timberlake 1999 denim amount. And if Justin did it and ended up as good as he did, I think I'm gonna be okay. And the reason I'm kind of wearing these creepy glasses, uh, they're actually not creepy. I say creepy because of the shape, but I just got in a bunch of movement sunglasses. These bad boys are the moguls. I'm not gonna lie. I look freaking fabulous. Speaking of fabulous, Baker. Hey, good job tonight on the Incredible Burgers. Impossible Burgers, what are they called? They're beyond patties, but yeah. Beyond patties, beyond burger. What are you messing around with a lot right now? <laughs> it's a camping lot we got set. Dude. Oh. All I know is we are about to have so many freaking activities because I got a tent to go in the back of my truck, which just got supercharged. I haven't even shown you guys that yet. I need to show you guys that. I need to race a Raptor, because I'm pretty sure I would beat it. Um, but anyhow, I got this tent that sets up on the back of, of the, the truck above it. So it's like, if you're afraid of snakes or bears, because I don't want this guy, I don't want this guy getting eaten by any of those things. Like, if you want to sleep up in this tree house, Baker's still going to have to sleep on the ground, but he's Australian, so it's cool. Like, he's friends with all the, 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 the t -t -t today, Junior! The bears and the snakes, he's friends with them. It's gonna look like this. And they're called Free Spirit Recreation, and it's a freaking bad A truck. So, um, I'm not gonna be wearing the moguls when I go out. I might be wearing something like this. It's a little still too cold right now for uh, the truck tent, but um, anyhow, I'm all over the place. I'm talking about 100 things because every time I get from home from California, we have packages. So we, we had this lighting, and we're like, hey, let's try to use that lighting. I got the tent. Um, I got all these glasses and I also got this hat. So I'm gonna put the, the glasses description. If you guys wanna check out any of New Movement's sunglasses or watches, they're pretty dope. These ones are the blue light blockers, which if you're up late at night on your phone like me, it's a good idea. Can you guys take me serious in this? In my This is definitely something a Canadian would rock, but. Um, all right, so what we're doing tonight. What we're doing tonight, I got a glass of wine. I have not had any wine yet, even though I might seem really loose and fun. Hey, this is my first drink of wine. Mm. Oh, I hate wine. Why am I drinking it? Because I'm trying to learn to like it. What we're gonna do right now is a Q&A because I'm lazy and I didn't work out today. So um, sit down, pull up a glass of wine or water, milk. Wine is pretty awful. And let's get intimate. Let's talk about things we haven't talked about in a while. These are all gonna be questions from my Instagram that people have asked. So we're gonna sit down and we're gonna do this. Cheers. Well, hello there. I actually didn't even hear you guys come in. I'm sitting here tonight in my Canadian tuxedo with a glass of wine, fireplace going. It's actually not that cold outside. I just haven't used the fireplace all year long. But we're gonna sit down tonight and we're gonna get intimate. There's you and there's me. There's no one else besides Hobbs. Hobbs is always here. Hobbs is a part of me. Gonna go over some Q and A's tonight, like I said, because I'm a lazy bastard and did not work out today. I feel like this is every YouTube's, YouTuber's go-to when they don't have a video when they're supposed to have one up. So I'm gonna just say it right now, I was lazy, it's my fault. Don't blame Alec. What we're gonna do right now, you guys sent some questions in and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna answer them tonight. As honest as anyone has ever been with other people. Strangers, but not strangers at the same time. Sharing a common bond. I'm gonna have a glass of wine, or a sip of wine now. Mmm! Oh, it stings the nostrils. It's quite pungent. Question number one, Jared Wilson 16. What city has been your favorite Gymshark meetup? 
been in? Or what city is your, <laughs> I'm already drunk, I can't read. What city has been your favorite Gymshark meetup in? Um, I would say Birmingham, England, because that's Gymshark's headquarters and it was just, it was lit. We pulled into this like abandoned looking warehouse and we just had so many people there from Gymshark HQ. The whole thing was really cool. My second favorite would be this last one in Sydney. Um, also, Toronto, Canada showed up. I was super impressed. I was the most impressed with Toronto's turnout. So, Canadians, that's why I wore this Canadian tuxedo for you guys. Cheers. It'll be the only time I ever do this. All right, Alec is gonna fire questions away and I'm gonna answer as honest as anyone has ever answered a question. Favorite sports team would be the Denver Broncos in the NFL. Um, my least favorite sports team on the planet is probably gonna be the Patriots. Why? Because they're too freaking good. Tom Brady, if you're watching this, which I know you secretly subscribe under a different name, let someone else have a chance. I really respect you, but I'm really tired of looking at your mug. You're the GOAT, retire. How do I stay lean all, I'm not lean all year round, but I would say like I used to not be lean all year round because I'd go on these binge, like the leaner you get, there's a swing of, of like, so if you get like in a 4%, you're gonna have this swing back because you've been restricting so much. So the key for me now is to never restrict things, have things in moderation, enjoy my workouts, and I'm not 4%, but I'm not gonna be like 15% either. If I can hang out that nine, eight, nine, 10 range, I'm gonna be happy. And you do that by, by being smart about what you eat. I counted macros for years, so I kind of basically know just eyeballing things. Okay, steer clear of that. Yes, I can have some of that. And then, like I said, the, the sweet treats in moderation, but that comes from years of counting macros. Ooh, excellent question. I would come to Boise, uh, except for it's too cold. I'm actually gonna be in Boise in May, so maybe it'll be better in May and I'll wanna open up one there. I think we'd probably have to do one in Australia before we would do one in Boise though. Never. I will never be back on stage. I shouldn't say never because things always happen, but for me to be back on stage, I'd have to get sauced up. Don't wanna do that. I like being, you know, the fun, healthy, fit, can travel, don't take things too serious because ultimately, it's like when I, I hated myself when I was competing um, in a lot of ways because my life was just so uber focused on how I, I looked. And that just pushes you to live a life you don't want to live. Like in and out or Chick-fil-A. Woo! Chick-fil-A for every day. Like if I'm gonna make, eat one of those every day for the rest of my life, it's gonna be Chick-fil-A because I feel like it's a little bit healthier. But which one do I enjoy more? In and out. 100%. I love me an In-N-Out double, double single, so that's two patties, one slice of cheese, light spread, animal style, protein style, so it doesn't break the macro bank. You're welcome. Thank me later. My favorite thing about Australia. My favorite thing about Australia, just the people, the sun. Australia is this. I'm gonna be real with you guys for a second. People pay all sorts of money to live in California, like a lot of money, when there is the Disneyland version of California, like only the good things about California and not the bad things. So California is Australia, but Australia has better weather, better beaches, better oceans, less trash, um, less crime, prettier people, less traffic. So Australia is the Disneyland version of, of, of California. So. Take that for what it's worth. I will one day live there for four months out of the year and Alex is gonna be super happy about that because damn, the boy misses the beach. How much, what does it say? How much am I paying Alec for those fire videos? So Alec and I split YouTube revenue and then if he works on the side for fitness culture, we pay him a little bit from that too. So he's doing okay. For a 21 year old guy, not 22, not having to pay rent, doesn't have a car, doesn't have to worry about gas, he does pay for groceries. He's pocketing some decent change. So, traveling and he's trying to build, and yeah, traveling the world, traveling, you get to travel for free. It's not too bad of a gig, if you like traveling. Some people don't like traveling. Favorite kicks, hmm, let me think. Now, these ones right now, I don't know if they're my favorites, but these are the off-white blazers. I like them because they're old school, but I also love, um, 
I don't know. Do you have a favorite pair of mine? If you were gonna take one pair of shoes from me, what would you take? If they had your size. Alec wears a size, what, 13? I wear a size 11 and a half. The all white Vapor Maxes, and then we got the Nike Zoom Flies. So, well, the Pegasus poison. are pretty cool. The Pegasus are all right. So, it looks like you're just a freaking off white fan, bro. But the, I do love the the Vans uh, NASA collab. Yeah, that's a pretty good one too. I've never seen them since you bought them. Yeah, not that many people have those. That's the idea. I think I think actually my my newest favorite pair are the Turbo Green Jordans though I got. Those are so clean. Okay, next question. Is Hobbs a Red Fawn Frenchie? Yes, Hobbs is a little Red Fawn Frenchie. I got him from Southern Utah Frenchies here in St. George. He is Poppy's cousin. Um, he's a lot more dense and sturdy than Poppy. And everyone freaking loves the guy's personality because he's just chill, look at him. The dude's sleeping. I could pick him up right now. And he's just gonna go back to sleep on my lap. I know, buddy. I know. So he's like my baby. I take him pretty much everywhere with me. When I travel, he goes over to my sister's house, who's just down the street. She has a dog named Hobbs, or she has a dog named Calvin. And he's Hobbs. So Calvin and Hobbs just play. I have two nieces, and they love him, and they're here. So even when I go to the gym and work out, um, that's where he goes and hangs out. Hell no! Will I ever do strongman training? That's what messed up my back in the first place. I didn't warm up. I just jumped in there with Hafthor Bjornsson, world's strongest man, just won the Arnold. That broke me. We'll link that video to this one because if you guys want to see me just lift up some heavy things and get yelled at and slapped on the back by a large Swedish man or a large man from Iceland, that's the video you want to watch. What? We're in the U. What happened to the Utah house? We're in the Utah house. This is the Utah house. It's five bedrooms, one, two, three, four, five. Five bedrooms, that's including where my, my Peloton is. I still need to do a finished house tour. That's to come. Maybe we'll do the finished house tour and then put it up for sale. Don't dare me, I'll do it. This is, it's up for sale right now. Anyone wants to buy my house, let me know. For me and Yoon Olsen bros. I still haven't met you. We shot with douchebags, that's gonna be dropping. It's a cool bag, it's a cool collection. I like those guys because Swedish people, Norwegian people, Scandinavian people, I just feel like they're pretty happy people. Maybe it's because every time I've, I've got to hang out with them, they're outside of Sweden and Norway and they're like, oh, I can see the sun. Like they're super happy about it, I don't know, but like I just love, I got time for those people. So I'm sure I would like you and I love his videos. Um, Go tell Yoon we appreciate him. Say, Steve Cook sent me. Who do I think will win the NCAA tournament? The tournament. The tournament? Say, tur say tournament. Tournament. Tournament? tournament. The tournament? Um, I'm going Duke versus North Carolina in the championship. And I'm going Duke just because I've been following Zion Williams for like two years. Everyone is all hyped on Zion. I was following his Instagram years ago because I'd never seen anyone dunk like that on. He was looking like he was playing against Good, like little kids. How do you get out of a workout slash life funk? I'm, I'm kind of in one right now. I'm not gonna lie guys. Um, since I got back from Australia, my place here in Utah is beautiful. It's not a very big city. Um, there's no dating life. So I kind of feel like I just want to travel more, but we got, we, got, we got reasons to be here. I got family, I got fitness culture, we got all that kind of stuff. But I kind of feel like I'm in this life funk where I think you need to, if you're in a, in a workout life funk, you need to get, just concentrate on one thing. Um, just, if you're in a workout funk, concentrate on 15 minutes before your workout, sitting down, writing out your goals, and studying, just studying what you're training that day. If you're in a life goal, do the same thing. Put your blinders on, focus on one thing, and one thing only, because if you guys are like me, when I get overwhelmed, I don't do anything. I just get I just get overwhelmed and exhausted. I'm like, ah, and then I fail at things. So I would say just try to focus on one thing when you are in a, in a funk. Y Will I ever release another Gymshark line? Yes. We're actually heading to England a week from today. Alec and I are heading to England to work more on it. So I've already picked out the styles that I want, the font. Um, I need to go try everything on, make sure they fit, make sure the fabric's solid. So we're going out to England. Hobbs is gonna go over to my sister's house. And then 
Um, I meet with Gymshark for two days and then we're gonna be in London for five days. So if there's somebody you wanna see us collab with in London, we'll probably see my buddy Sean Stafford. Um, places, things we should do. If you guys are from the UK, maybe we should do a meetup. Should we do a meetup? I haven't done a meetup in England in a while. If you guys, if you're, if you're down for a meetup, tell me where we should do it, because I have done this before, but let me know. Anything else? For anyone asking where I got this outfit, I'll be doing a full like Australian clothing haul, but this is one teaspoon. Um, awesome people there, so if you guys like the denim. I wouldn't go denim on denim often, but I'm, it's actually growing on me. I'm feeling more Canadian as we speak, eh? Last question, who do I, I don't, who do I think will get MVP in the NBA? If you're looking at just numbers, I think James Harden's gonna probably win it again. Um, if you're looking at like the most, I don't know. I like Giannis, but I, st I think you gotta give it to James Harden. The dude is just terrorizing the NBA right now. I don't, I don't, I don't know if he's like, 90% of those, the, the step backs he's hitting, our travels, I think, but the dude is just, I'm not a, a Houston fan, but the dude is just lighting it up. I just wanna see Golden State lose and I'll be happy. All right, guys, that's it for tonight's vlog. Thank you guys for letting me off the hook easy with a workout video. The next video will be a workout video. I can assure you of that. And until then, I'm gonna leave you with a little Lion King action. Ah, so when you gonna buy me pizza, bro. I love you. Hobbs loves you. Go ahead and hit that like button on this video for Hobbs. Good night. <laughs>